for those of you that are watching this in July, we're filming this in December, and it's Christmas time here in San Diego, and it's raining! And cloudy Yay. and it's a cold, it's cold it's a cold 62 we're dying here oh my gosh i've got my, <laughs> my hands are cold yeah um what we're doing today is a follow-up to our uh, we're answering a follow-up question that um, came in that a lot of people have last week we did uh we covered rpms and what the different zones are for rpms rpms also means pedal speed or cadence okay so back onto the spinning topic um so let me just kind of summarize the question that we got in um, from jacqueline reynolds i'm not quite sure where she's from east coast maybe somewhere i don't know us okay. um she basically is saying what's more important that i keep up with the rpms that um the trainer tells me i should be at or uh, the level of resistance that i'm using and she has one of those bikes where the gears are like from one to 20. Oh, okay. Whereas ours is more yeah. free form, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so she was saying, you know, I'm at a level four and I'm going at 60 RPMs, is that right? Or, you know, what, what's more important that I try to keep up or that my resistance is higher? And it's really not either of those things. Mm -hmm. It's the, the combi yeah. It's the combination of the level of resistance that you're using the RPMs that the trainer is saying you should be at at that moment. So it's really not one or the other of those things that you're looking at, Jacqueline, or anybody else that has that same question. You're looking at both of those things put together, and when you do that, what you're going to get, the value that you're going to get is your intensity mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. also your heart rate level, okay? So your trainer should be telling you, this is how you should feel right now. So your RPMs are at 65. Um, and how I want you to feel at the 65 RPMs is borderline anaerobic, meaning you're at the very top of your fat burning zone. Well, you're gonna have some pretty solid resistance on yeah. to be able to get to that level. So what you really need to look for is how hard am I working at those RPMs? How hard do you have to crank that resistance mm -hmm. up there? Mm -hmm. So your trainer should be telling you, this is how you should be feeling, um, which is also synonymous with your intensity level, which is synonymous with your heart rate, okay? So you need to combine those variables, your pedal speed, also known as your RPMs, along with the level of resistance to come up with the intensity level. And that is what is most important. Because if you're doing an endurance ride, maybe you want to be at between 75% and 85% um, max heart rate, or on a scale of one to 10 perceived exertion, you wanna be at about a seven and a half to eight and a half, right? Yeah, and I would also say to, you know, before we had the computer system and we were actually able to call out numbers, I would tell you to mat to watch our cadence, match our cadence, mm -hmm. you know, figure out if, if you've finally picked up our cadence and you've met us there, is your intensity where ours is? You know, right. are you on a climb? Do We've said we want you on a hill, we want you, you know, you, we might hear us say, I want you on a scale of one to ten, I want you at an eight. This is how you should feel. You know, feel. this is how you should feel, right. match our cadence. You know, you could be matching our cadence, but it's easy. So figure out right there at home if you need to gear up to meet to the meet level us. of intensity. So it's kind of right. a hard question to answer because it is a combo of everything. It's, it's always about um, the, the, the level of intensity though. Yeah. You take the RPMs, you combine them with um, the level of resistance and that's how challenging it is at that moment. Yeah. Like I was saying, for an endurance ride, you might be between you know 70 and 85% maximum heart rate, level of intensity. Um, on that scale of one to 10, the perceived mm -hmm. exertion. Now, if you're I'm doing interval training, so the heart rate's gonna come lower and higher. Yeah, it's gonna go all over. Right, and so you just really need to take those two things, Jacqueline and everybody else out there, and put those together, and that is the perfect recipe for success. So there. It's your Christmas gift. Christmas miracle. Wrapped up. Yep. You. All right, you guys, so I hope that <laughs> answers your questions, but if you do have any more, please uh, post those questions on our Facebook page, and we will get back to you with some answers. And if you're looking for fat torching, body sculpting workouts, check out Studio Sweat, Sweat on Man. man. It's raining fire.